So you have to be on your toes when you have a child. You know, if you're a hands-on father and even you know, you're a single father, you have to uh, be able to manage your time really well. So it's made me a more efficient person. It's made me more uh, fitter. Now I work out harder. This is Tushar Kapoor, and it's my story today on Peeping Moon. I don't have any one particular memory, and uh, I never took it really seriously even when I realized it. I think it was just part of growing up, wherein we knew that uh, he is a celebrity and he is very, very famous. So it didn't feel like it was something extraordinary or different from others. It just was something that um, we grew up with, and it was matter of fact for us. But I remember feeling a little uh, awkward because sometimes when you come out of school, then people standing outside the school, whether it was uh, you know the, the chauffeurs of others, cars, etc., they would probably notice you like you are somebody different than somebody somebody related to someone big. So they'd analyze you in that sense. So you f there, you, there there would be a feeling at times wherein uh, one would feel like. There is a camera on you, even though there isn't one camera on you. So, it was one of those very few moments wherein one would feel like, okay, I'm being watched. Wherein my mother comes into the picture, she takes part of, takes a keen interest in the financial affairs, and she is the backbone of the company. So, when I'm not shooting and uh, when I'm not doing interviews like this, when I have the time, I do help her as a financial analyst because that's my education also. I've done a BBA from the University of Michigan. So I do get involved in the financial affairs of the company and and how I can be useful to her because she's the MD, she's the managing director and she can do with some help from a family member. So even though I'm an actor, I think my education helps me be of use to her and add value to the company even though I'm not an integral part, I'm not uh, within the management of the company. It's not going to be possible for me to be at the shoots and be within uh, the framework of the management, but it's definitely possible for me to be um, a great help to her and a great help to Ekta also. I mean, if it if it concerns a few of the creative matters, but that's that's about it. I can't do more than that. He used to fight like cats and dogs, and I think I've said that in so many interviews also that I've really beaten her up, I've really bashed her up, you know, as a child. And I think all brothers and sisters fight, and our age difference is only one and a half years, so. There was always a conflict, there was always a fight for uh, something that we shared because we always stayed in the same room till we were in the 7th or 8th and uh, we went in the same car to school, we used to travel together to holidays together, we had the same building friends, so we fought over everything, we fought over okay, who's gonna watch watch movie, who's gonna hear which, which, which audio cassette in the car. So sometimes like there's one cassette that has a side A and a side B and I wanted to hear a side B and she wanted to hear a side A. So we hit each other and spanked each other and, and torn each other's clothes over the most pettiest of things. But we don't fight anymore now because I think we've grown up, we've, we've, we understand that you know it's, uh, it's pointless to uh, have these unnecessary conflicts and I think family is the most important thing in today's world at least. You know, There's no one else who sticks by you other than family, but no matter what, your family is always going to be there. Even friends can change, friends can uh, have uh, issues, friends will probably, uh, some will stay, stick by you, some will desert you, but your family you know will always be there, so that's your biggest security. So I think that's what's something that I think and I have understood and we don't get into each other's space. She doesn't ask me questions about my work, I don't ask her questions about her work. We talk to each other about each other's work casually and advise each other, but we don't get into each other's space. For sure, it's really completed me, it's made me a more uh, confident person, it's made me a more uh, a happier person, a more fulfilled human being, it's made me more uh, uh, grateful to God, to the forces of nature that I have my son with me. And it's made me uh, better with my time management also. You know, you have to be on your toes when you have a child. You know, if you're a hands-on father and even you know, you're a single father, you have to uh, be able to manage your time really well. So it's made me a more efficient person. It's made me more uh, fitter. Now I work out harder so I can be energetic all day for my son. And I go out more. I mean, you know, earlier on, I think, you know, I'd probably not really go out so much because I had so much time to myself if I wasn't working I just had the freedom so I just probably just do my own thing in the day but now I know that you know I have to be with my son in the day so when he sleep I value that time that I have this me time for myself and I go out a lot now what has made me a better actor is my own judgment of myself I see my old films I find out 
uh, what I feel has to be worked on and what what how how far I have come and how further how further I have to go as an actor how much I have to evolve that's my own passion that really drives me to really work on myself and find out uh, areas wherein I can really improve myself and find out areas that are probably my strengths also as far as the industry changing I think yes the audience's tastes keep changing with every decade I think you have to package your film better and that's the business side of films so I'm also involved in that because I understand the film business very well so I know exactly uh, marketing techniques have changed how uh, uh, people like different kinds of subjects but they have to be entertaining at the same time also and I think the industry by by large has really really grown in the sense that now we have so many genres of films I mean we we have room for all kinds of movies which were always made earlier but now I think we recognize them as uh, a genre in its own you know it's not just a an offbeat film and or a commercial film it's 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 a film it's it's a Bolly, it's bollywood and it's a film it's just that there are different genres of films and they all work they all are doing well they all are existing they all uh, bring their own audiences they all make money so that's i think the biggest uh, win for bollywood is that we've grown uh, uh, into a global industry more than being just an, a hindi film industry i think i just like the script the narration that came came up it was uh, a bit raunchy the first time I heard it and I was a little nervous but I was like uh, you know uh, a comedy is a comedy let's just try you know let's just try and make people laugh in some I mean with, with something different with something more spicy probably at the end of the day it's not about the adult humor that really is going to bring the audiences in it's about making them laugh and it has to be a funny film which happens to be an adult comedy it could be uh, a slice of life comedy it could be you know uh, uh, how do you how, how do I put it uh, a slapstick comedy it could be any kind of comedy it's, it, it's it doesn't necessarily have to be an adult comedy only that you know that that really grabs eyeballs so I thought that you know you know just let's try something new and if it's funny it'll work and they did so we made another part to it and uh, obviously today times are different you can't really uh, be very very uh, careless when you make an adult comedy you have to really take care of the sensitivities of people because there are very very diverse opinions on this within our country there's a huge audience that loves it and there's a huge audience that you know that looks down upon it also so uh, it, it does work if it's made well but one has to be very careful I mean I've always just looked at myself as being an actor and uh, I've just focused on my work and my my identity is because of my work because of my first film Mujhe Kuch Kena which gave me my identity and uh, there are there on people know me for who I am not whose son or whose brother I am I mean that is also part of me I can't change that and that's something I'm very proud of but uh, I'm known for the movies that I've done the some good some not very good and more so the Kohl Mahal franchise which I think I'm kind of very very associated with and very very recognized for so for me it's it's not about uh, being affected by somebody else's successes or failures or some somebody else who's in my family i think that is something that's their path i think what really makes me who i am is my own path this is tushar kapoor and it's my story today on peeping moon